Look at that. I was just checking this lake because I had success down here with that little piebald axis deer that you guys saw in the last video. And so I figured, well, what other spots haven't I checked? And I looked up here and I didn't have any drink zones. So I came up here on the four-wheeler and set some tents down. And I was just messing around with the, with the time, switching it, seeing what I could find. And what do you know, but there's a dilute axis deer. So, or sorry, not axis deer, mule deer. So that is pretty neat. I have seen enough of these when they were rare and when they were uncommon that it's not like, you know, a, a crazy insane find. But it still is very nice to see. It should get into a lung. Yes, it will. Let's get over there and pick that guy up. Like I said in the last video, if you guys haven't checked these lakes kind of on the outside, I'm going to go up and check up here and up here. And, like, check them. Definitely. Because... They're really good, like this lake is really good for Axis deer. Um, a lot of stuff drinks here. I'm going pretty much off of the Pro XEK maps because I found those to be the most reliable. And I'm glad I am because I'm checking these lakes kind of around the edges and I'm gonna go check this one. I don't have any zones here. So I'm gonna go check that. Stuff that's far away from outposts but is really good for a lot of stuff. It's, it's kind of forgotten about, but it is definitely worth taking a look at. Okay, there's a mythical up there. So here's our guy, little silver. I don't mind that rack for the silvers. It's not very big, but it does look pretty decent. So I am not one bit unhappy with that. Ooh. That's semi white, okay. And they're legit rare now. So we need to get that guy. See if I can hit that. Yep. Yeah, big white. This server is doing pretty well for us, so I think we'll stick here for a little while because this is this is a pretty good start. I really like those. I like the way they look just as much as the albinos, and since them being a legit rare now, makes them really cool. That's a piebald. That's a piebald. That's a piebald fox. Okay. Okay, it just got real. That's a thing, apparently. Wow. I really was just not expecting that at all. Whew, okay. How did I not see it earlier? Was it not at that zone? Yeah, no, that's 100% a piebald. Okay, so I guess the plan will just be wait for it to turn around and then shoot it when it does and try to keep it inside of like 200 meters. That's crazy. Hopefully it goes kind of to the left, around the side, and not straight up the up the hill. Is it doing alert? No, it's fleeing still. It should stop in a second. The wind is good. I don't know if it'll come back. And I don't know if, it, I think the level six foxes can make gold. I mean, I think all level six animals, or level six predators anyway, can make gold. I just don't know if it will with that estimate, but I really want it to, if it has the chance, I want to make sure not to mess it up. So yeah, I'm just going to keep kind of crouch walking after it and hopefully it stops soon. I don't really know how long they flee, but it should hopefully just stop somewhere right up here. Okay. That one stopped. So the pie bolt should be should be right up there. There it is. It's still fleeing. Come on, stop. And I don't want to fast travel away. Okay, just went nervous. I don't really want to take a 150 meter shot on it because that's right in between the zero distances on the pistol. And I don't know how confident I feel with that. So... I'm just gonna try to get into a like, hundred meters. Maybe I can make it go alert right here and just shoot it right here at like a hundred.
All right. Close enough. Step out. Step out from behind the tree. I don't like that angle. All right. Stop. Stop. Uh, nope, not that angle either. Needs to turn around and then stop, and I'll take it. Got him. Got him. Okay, he's down. That should have been a good shot. Now we just need to not get killed by wolves. Because I really don't want to get killed and then get like fast traveled back to this place and then crash because it's crashing a fair amount right now in multiplayer. Whenever you fast travel, there's a decent chance that it crashes. So I really don't want that to happen, but we should be okay. Let's see, where's this guy? Right here. Okay. Let's pick him up. He is just a silver. But that is so cool, man. That's my first ever rare small predator that's not a lynx, as far as I know. If, I guess a male. I've got a couple rare coyote females, but I am so glad I decided to hop on. I almost didn't. But wow. That is amazing. They are so pretty. Still need to get that diamond. But... I am almost as happy with this as I would be with a diamond. These things are so beautiful. Okay, we have got ourselves a multi-mount to make. Let's take this guy down. And first, let's get this one made. Fox's lunch, piebald fox, diamond jackrabbit. That's pretty sweet. I was gonna make that with the diamond fox whenever we get it, but I like the piebald fox on there a lot more. I think I like that one the best. We also have to find a place for that gray wolf. Can it fit in there? Yes, it can. We'll do that. And the dilute mule deer can go in the second lodge for now. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap us up for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.